Hi everyone, my name is Charlie and today I have a review of Companion Piece by Ali Smith. I don't tend to review individual books on this channel. However, my feelings towards this book are such that I feel as I have no option but to record a review in order that these thoughts will leave my mind and just stop recurring because I will have aired them and there will be no reason for me to continue to go on at myself about this book. Companion Pieces is exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, we have had the seasonal quartet over the last few years, which is where Ali Smith discusses current events from a fictional standpoint, and that is what she is doing through Companion Piece, which is discussing the year of Covid. Or, well, it's been two years, but specifically here I feel like it's just after the period that we saw with Summer. And in this book we have the character of Sandy, whose father is in hospital, not with Covid, but with this heart condition, and a woman from her university days has got in touch with her because of something strange that has happened to her. This is very typical of the seasonal quartet and the way that those books are written as somebody is having their world disrupted in a certain fashion. In this book you still have the bureaucracy that the friend Martina faces when she is trying to get back into the country with a medieval artefact. Uh, you have some of the fan fantastical elements that we saw within winter. I enjoyed the seasonal quartet. I got lots out of it having followed Sarah over at Hardcover Hearts's readathon. I don't know whether I need to read this book again with other people, but I didn't like it. I felt as though in the seasonal quartet, when Smith made allusions or she discussed a work of art, she left it up to the reader to then interpret what she might have meant. Whereas in Companion Piece, she tells you why she's discussing a certain piece of art and what that could possibly evoke. Now, yes, she does go into the possibilities of what certain things could mean. There's an E.E. E. Cummings poem that she begins to translate and she talks about the ways in which this could be translated, giving the reader the option to then go and tr discuss this poem themselves and come up with their own thoughts as to what that poem might be about. However, she does not allow the reader to do this when it comes to other things that she has chosen to discuss. And as much as I care for syntactical humour, it's one of my favourite things uh, in terms of Last of the Summer Wine. Wordplay is brilliant. I wrote an entire essay about syntactical humour and wordplay when I was in sixth form because I really enjoy thinking about the ways that words sound together and the ways that closely link words with very close spellings can mean completely different things. And I like the idea that Smith was using here and employing, but it began to feel overused in this novel. And as much as I care for this kind of humour. It felt like I was being beat over the head with it and not being allowed to explore the own humour and possibilities that I might have had in here. There is a stream of consciousness now to the prose that yes is present in the other books but in terms of the seasonal quartet whilst being stream of consciousness they also were grounded in a plot and that plot actually seemed to go any go somewhere whereas in this book it reaches a moment of frustration and is never resolved and then enters into this tale that goes back in time before then returning to the point at which we were at. And it felt incredibly rushed and ended up leaving me feeling like that entire narrative thread had been a bit of a waste of my time. I felt as though it was a criticism of the woke culture of today and cancel culture and I felt like this was a criticism of cancel culture whilst also likening, likening it to things that went on in the past in terms of branding people, how these were physical brands and I got that 
but it also felt like I was being beat over the head with it. And that is the thing about this book. Whereas I felt like the seasonal quartet left so much open to interpretation and there was a lot of nuance there, I don't feel like that is here. I feel like it's beating you over the head all of the time. I feel like it doesn't allow any room for interpretation. I feel like it is all laid out for you on the page and is very rigid. It's a very angry book which I could contend with because the anger that the characters are feeling and the frustrations they are feeling are palpable. However, I don't know whether it's because we're so closely experiencing this, I don't know whether it's because I recognise these sorts of people, but it felt somewhat trite to me and it felt like a discussion was being started but the writer wasn't able to hold any objectivity away to allow the reader to engage in a similar sort of conversation or have any thoughts about it and I really didn't get on with it. There is an arrogance to this book that I didn't like where as I say you are being hammered over the head with all these disparate pieces and all this information that is it just felt like lists at times. It felt like I was reading non-fiction where the author had gone and researched something and decided she was going to build up a word count by including nonsensical facts. Uh, whereas in earlier books she might have made a short note about something for the reader to then go and unpick and unravel and see how this linked to everything else. And I don't feel like that was here. I don't feel like Smith left the reader any room to go and unpick or unravel every anything because she was just thrusting everything on the page. It felt incredibly rushed. It felt like there wasn't an ending. It felt like she'd created a plot but then decided, oh bugger this, I can't be arsed with it and just moved on. All the characters were more caricatures. Like in previous books we've seen characters be seen as catalysts for what goes on in the lives of others and there's even a joke and mention of that in here but the characters felt like set pieces that Smith had thrown in here to make the arguments that she wished to make and then moved on. The characters didn't feel like characters at all and it just felt like Smith had a lot to, that she wanted to say on subjects and she was trying to do it in fiction when maybe she should have written an essay about it because felt like a nonsense to me. It felt like a waste of my time. And whilst it is an incredibly quick read, uh, as a companion to the seasonal quartet, I felt nothing but disappointment because it was all of these disparate pieces that don't jigsaw together. They're hammered together to try and create some sort of point. And it's like, we can get the point. We get the point because you keep throwing it at us every few pages. It's just a huge, huge disappointment of a novel. And if you'd like to hear alternative views about that, then Eric Carl Anderson and Bob the Booker also go into greater depth when they are discussing this book. I did not care for it and that is all I will say. If you have read this book and would like to discuss it then please feel free to do so in the comments. I hope that you enjoyed this video and until next time, that is all.